Hello everybody and welcome back to Mute Design. So we have a few things to do today. Now that we're back. I got off on the wrong foot with Tongue. I should go find him. Maybe he's in the yard behind the harbor. I should go see if Claire has stopped crying. Yeah, and I think food should be done here here now. This is one of the buildings, I think. Oh no, down here. My bad. It's down here. It is not down here. Where did hang on. <laughs> I'm all turned around. Let's go this way. Check on Claire first, and then we'll go to town. Seems like a good way to do it. Oh, she doesn't look like she's crying. What? Why are you crying? You're crying. Kai, thanks so much for coming back. I'm okay now. It was a bit much, that's all. But I just wanted to say you're so welcome. Why did I make you cry? I'm genuinely curious. Do you mind me asking, why did I make you cry? It's just... Gaia's had such a full life. And I sometimes worry. Seeing you makes me feel like I don't go on enough adventures. Which is silly, because I don't even like adventures. I like what I know. Right. I mean, I think I kind of get it. Maybe she feels like life is passing her by. What? Oh, well, so now that she's not crying, you get to cry? All right. You know what? That's fair. As I was saying before I got interrupted, I think what she means is that by adventures is that she's... Gaia's gone on, you know, Gaia's moved on and she's changed so much over the years and maybe Claire feels like she stayed the same. You know, like, life's moving on without you and it's like, well, I feel like I'm still the same. But everyone around me is different. But enough of that. Let me show you my shop. I've got all kinds of things here. Fruit, vegetables, meat, fabric, furniture, pearl, pearls, cutler, cutlery. I don't have any money. <laughs> oh, I didn't bring any money with me, though. We're trading goods, not money. Oh, oh, like in Bone. Have you guys read that comic? That one's a good comic. Everyone puts things in and everyone takes them out. It's more of a central store, I guess. But you won't need anything while you're here. Everyone will be queuing up to give you what you need. Hesitate. Hmm. Oh, I want to ask, is it really rare to have visitors? The last visitor we had was Spike. Oh, well, maybe Grobert. But he comes and goes so much. Spike arrived here when I was a teenager. He was such a mysterious stranger. He runs the bar over there now. Uh, anyway. Cool, so the shop is for trade. Really, it's just a way to pool our resources. And I keep the inventory. I'm very good at maths. Speaking of which, can you do me a favor and go tell Jella their order is in? I've got some, I just got some potash. Ooh, who now? <laughs> Jella is a bit funny. I think they came from a different process than, like, humanoid mutations. Yoke tried to explain it to me once. But they're just the same as the rest of us, really. And they're very talented scientists. They make all of our perfumes and soaps and things. Just head deep into the cave. And you'll find them right at the bottom. Okay, sure. Alright, good to know, good to know, but first I gotta go see Tongue. Oh no, Tongue is over here. Tongue, 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 Tongue. Hey! He's here! Oh, and there's some little guys up there. Hello, what you doing? This thing has seen better days. Oh, um, hey. Nice see to see you not wielding any boxes. You're not going to throw that sandy thing at me, are you? Uh, uh, nice to see you not wielding any boxes. Are you kidding, or are you actually annoyed? Oh. Kidding! Or, no, uh, mm. 
I didn't mean to upset him. I'm kidding. Maybe it was weird to ask. I'm just pretty terrible at reading people, I guess. Change the subject. Nah, let's apologize. Sorry. Start over? Oh, okay, sure. So, um... This is my boat. Be... Be positive. Looks very... Boaty. Kai, that's not... <laughs> I figured I could do with the ticket to freedom. It's nice here, in theory. But... It's also just a jungle and family. Talk about freedom, talk about escape. Hmm. Freedom. I get it. It's like learning to drive in the city. Yes, exactly that. So, you were brought up by your mom? Hmm. Be honest. Not always. I mean, I've had to bring myself up a bit. It's just me, my little brother Toby, and her now. Oh, whoa! We have a little brother? Has that come up before? I don't think it has. But it's only been like that for a couple of years. What happened to your... Oh. There was an accident. My dad left. I know it's bad, but um, sometimes I f think I'd feel better if he... If he died, it wouldn't have felt like it was our fault. Oh. Mm. Be honest. Can't say I recommend it. Oh. This boat was my dad's. He had a proper boat, too. That's what he left on. He used to call this his little runabout. Well, it... It's yours now. It's not his anymore. You're... It's yours. Yeah. It's mine now. Time to work out what I want it to be. Exactly. You don't need to stand in his shadow. You be who you want to be. Well, it was nice talking to you, Tongue. Ooh, wild grass. Uh, and anything else around here? Let's see. Okay, I guess I should go give this message to the cave person. I got off on the wrong foot with Tongue. I should go find him. Maybe he's in the yard behind the harbor. That was a pretty broken looking boat, but what do I know about boats? Tongue's cool. Kind of mopey, though. I don't know. Maybe I seem mopey, too. A little bit. But you didn't hear it from me. Ah, this is the cave. We gotta go to the bottom. What the what? Why do I have an urge to hit these old pipes with a hammer? Oh, do it May Borowski style. Are you the person? Are you Jella? No, you're Dennis. I don't know, sweet thing. The readings just won't improve. That's why I've not been able to spend so much time with you and your pipe. It's just the bedrock of our whole ecosystem. But I'll make it up to you, I promise. I'll bring you some nice crispy blue bugs as a treat. How about that? Sweet thing? Please talk to me. Uh, what? I'll just keep going. Oh, this is where all those little guys are. We met them earlier. I'm just saying. You're always just saying. There's a market opportunity out there. The metrics are dire. Perhaps we need a new productivity matrix. What you working on there? Maybe we need to update our metrics. Oh, they're just gonna ignore me. What's a market opportunity? A gap in the market. Markets. Uh, hello? Grob's currently got monopoly on ferry crossings, but he doesn't have to. That's a market opportunity? It would be. It is. If we actually lived in a market economy, that's a good point. That settles it. Let's free format both the matrix and the metrics. I guess you don't want to talk to me. Hmm, it's either that or they just have no awareness. Whoa, these roots go on forever. Well, yeah, isn't this the huge tree? Oh, okay, that's cool. I'm going to steal your mushrooms if that's okay. Nice. 
I come to places and I rob them. Oh cool, this is like an extractor on a crocter on a cooker, but for science. And what about over here? Big enough to crawl through, but way too filthy to try. Ah. You're no fun. One day we'll crawl through a hole. The doorway feels weirdly organic. Organic. Oh. Once again, I love the colors of this game. Whoa, check out this purple crystal. Take it. Steal it, it is ours. Anything is yours if you take it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? Hello? Oh, are you Jella? What's going on? Oh, hi. Second generation biological outcome. Ah! Yes, I am rather impressive. Although less than optimal at the present time. What were you just doing? I have to acquire my nutrients from the earth. I must spend part of each day recharging, as you might when you sleep or eat. However, for some time the quality of our soil in the, our biome has been degrading. Offer help. Can I help? I need a means of supplementing my nutrition. Hold on. Supplements! I do not fully ascertain your meanings. Uh, it, it, take action. Here, my mom makes me take them everywhere. Vitamin pill. Intriguing. It seems parental care includes the supplementation of organic compounds required for normal growth and nutrition. Gratitude. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh! And Claire has some, uh, potash for you. I was supposed to tell you. Understood. I will now assimilate these resources. Oh! Well. Oh, they're gone! Well, Jill, it was very interesting. You don't think so? Well, who was your favorite character? He's too busy crying to say. Oh, hi, Jella. You're back already. Human named Kai. Um, what are your interests, Jella? So what do you do when you're not doing, um, chemistry? In the community named Yutazayo, my role is many and varied. Some of what I do includes basic chemistry in order to produce cosmetics and cleaning substances. I do not need cleaning products myself. I simply process dirt at a microscopic level to produce a nutritious, nutritious ferment. Wow! <laughs> what else do you do? I also work with humanoid named Dennis to monitor the health of the mutazion biome. Biome? I know what a biome is. Why does it need monitoring? All of Butazion is linked by the roots of the great papu tree. The flora and fauna depend upon the health of the tree and its symbiotic relationship with other organisms. For the past few years, it has been in decline. So humanoid named Dennis and I monitor the health of the biome. Sounds important. I will continue my work now. All right, nice talking to you. I should probably go home to my grandpa, right? Yes, I should go see how Grandpa is doing. Let's double check on old Grampy Gramps. Are you guys still talking? It's going to take a while for the data to be sufficient. Understood. I was thinking something like a bicycle, but for water. A bicycle. Yeah, do you remember Spike had one that we crashed into the river? You guys are a mess. Fa famously buoyant then. Oh, thank you, Pr Presky. You get it. With a few modifications, they can be. Such as? First things first, Presky. What matters is the branding. They're pedal ho. From like when Grob says land ho. Pedal ho. Right. Well, Medisti, I look forward to the maiden voyage. I hope it has good mermaid protection. Oh my god, the dude giving them this idea is the same one who said all those things about mermaids. Y'all are weird. Grampy Gramps, 
Oh, thank God he's still alive. <laughs> I thought he was gonna die. Oh, Kai. You were in my dream. You were out east by the temple. And a great bird picked you up and carried you away. I tried to shout, but you were... You climbed up into its wings. And you flew it back down to safety. Huh. I first met Mani at the temple. I learned so much there. Who's Mani? One of those dreams that is so vivid you can feel the starlight on your skin. I'm dying, Kai. Oh no. Don't say that! I know you know this theoretically, but you need to understand it, actually. But... Why did you say you needed me, then? I know, I know. I didn't ask for you to watch me die. But it is happening. It is something I have come to accept. You must, too. That way, we will not waste time. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you can say after that. Just don't say anything. I want to get to know you. And I also want you to get to know the people who are part of me. Oh, Grandpa. We're right here. We're not going anywhere. To know them is also to know me. Hmm. Talk about the future. Okay. So, okay. You're dying. So what? We, we can still have a good time. I'll do what you say. When you're tired, I'll explore and meet people. And I'll hang out when you feel up to it. Deal? Deal. I feel privileged to have you for company on my last great adventure. What's next? That dream. I wonder if you could go to the temple and see if there are any flowers you could bring back for me. I miss the outdoors. Oh. Visit the temple out east and maybe get some flowers or something. I could do that. I'll do- I'll, I will- we'll do that right now. Poor grandpa. I mean, this is his first time meeting us too, right? So he probably, like- this is his first time meeting us. I'm sure that he didn't want it to be like this, where he's dying. Okay, we have to go over there. So we have to go this way. You know, he probably would have preferred any other way of meeting us rather than when it's near the end. <laughs> because that's not, that's not fun for anyone. Pick. Piccolino seed. Oh, more plants. Tea plant. Note fern. Well, and I remember that somebody said that Gramps was connected to the island, or like to this place. So does that mean we are too? This must be the way to the temple. Maybe that's why he wanted us to have the book, the plant book. Ooh. Here's the temple. It looks like there's a house in there. Oh, hello. That was a pretty animal. Let's see, are there any flowers out here? There's a kind of shrine through here. There's shrines over here too, little, little creatures. Creepy. I think they're cool. I just want to check over here a little bit. Don't want to miss anything. Oh, there's a door. Think I'll save exploring until I know my way around the village better. All right, that's good point, good point. All right, let's go in. Oh! I've been waiting for you, Kai. Ah! You and I, who know each other quite well. W wasn't she having dreams about him? You're, n you're not real. <laughs> Stay quiet. You will make it me prove it to you. So be it. I recall a heavy day just on the edge of autumn. Walking home from school, there was a gust of wind. 
that felt blown from another continent. You saw, born upon it, a wisp flower seed, which floated to earth like a snowflake. You caught it, saw its strange shimmer. You planted it in the dirt, in a pile by your window. And it grew into a plant that you swore, sang a song just for you. No one else heard it. True, Kai? True? But how? You know me. Now listen. The old man is dying. His pride has poisoned him. But there is a solution. Dracaena leaves. It is the only chance he has to hold on. Don't talk about him like that. That's what I was thinking. Karu can say whatever he feels like saying. You will find the wide leaf of Dracaena next to the temple garden. Why should I trust you? No more denying! Mm. You must get him Dracaena leaves from the temple garden. Seven gardens, moon is sung, papu flowers for the fung. You see? Any moment I'll wake up. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna wake up, Kai. That barely makes sense. Not everything can be easy. You use your brain, your ears, your eyes, and your hands, but not your nose. Don't use that, you little punk. Now, the Dracaena leaves. Take them to him, Kai. Go. And they're gone. <laughs> Jesus. Temple fern seeds. Okay, is this the garden? Oh. Wow, this is incredible. But what does it mean? What's going on? What did you put in her book? Birdman is real! <laughs> I, I know this place is supposed to be weird, but I can't tell anyone, can I? Maybe Yoke would know something. I could ask him, like, how big birds get around here, or about that weird poem. Creepy Birdman says I have to get something called Dracaena from outside the temple and give it to Grandpa. Alright, well let's find Dracaena. Is that Dracaena? I couldn't pick that before, could I? I tried! Dracaena leaf. Dracaena seed. Ah, uh, I'm sus. I feel very sus right now, I'm confused. Birdman, I don't trust you. Is Yoke still at the archive? Because if so, I feel like I want to talk to him right now. Because I don't know what the heck we just saw. Yoke! Yoke, dude, dude, you will not believe what I just saw. Hmm. I'm currently transcribing some records which were corrupted in some recent flooding. It's wrote stuff, but you never know what will be valuable to future academics. Mmm. Mmm, come on. Duh. Okay, do you have any giant birds and mutes Zion? Okay, maybe don't phrase it like that. Let's see. Well, I believe the largest bird native to the area is the common mute Zane bittern. It can develop a wingspan as large as 1.5 meters. So not two meters tall? So not like two meters tall? Kai, my dear. Is everything okay? No. <laughs> is it, uh, it's, it's hard for me to see in this dim light, but you seem a little pale. Honest, tell him the truth. I think I'm kind of going crazy. I don't know if I'm tired or what. But I was just by the temple, and I, I don't know. The temple is a strange and unusual place. But I am certain you're not going crazy. And even if you were, that would be okay. We would look after you. Oh, you guys are too sweet. But it sounds to me as though you are a little overwhelmed. Just take a deep breath. And get an early night if you can. A little sleep, and I am certain things will seem brighter on the morn. I have to stay up to call my mom. 
but thanks. You okay? You're really sweet, but that wasn't really helpful. Alright, see you later. Guess I'll find out about this giant de bird demon man on my own. I need- Hang on. Seems like it was used recently. Maybe Mori warmed, him up, warmed something up for him. Weird herbs and things. For cooking? Oh, Kai. I'm sorry. I'm still feeling... weak. Hmm. Give it to him. Trichina leaf. Kai. Do you know what this is? Well, I suppose I could have looked in the book. Promise me you didn't eat any of this. Promise me! Of course, don't, well, well, I didn't. Of course I didn't, they're leaves. Forgive me. This is an extraordinarily dangerous substance if ingested. What? Wait, is he eating it? I'm confused. Did the bird try and make us poison him? What are you doing? They were also a potentially life-saving substance. Okay, don't scare me like that. Did I just kill you? I was dying anyway. That doesn't make it better, Grandpa. Jacana is a drastic option. One I was too weak to trust in. Until you showed me what I needed to do. I need... To... Grandpa? Grandpa, don't die! Oh, he fell asleep. Jesus Christ, man! Okay, not dead. This is even more stressful than looking after a toddler. Well, usually when you look after a toddler, you don't see a giant fucking bird man! Oh! <laughs> Alright, do we have to call our mom? You doing all okay? You okay, I must sleep for this to, to work. We will speak more in the morning. Okay. Alright. Night, Grandpa. Please. Don't die. I kinda- I kinda like you. Didn't realize how tired I was until just now. I said I'd call Mom tonight. She'll be back about now. I think there's a phone in the bar. Alright. Oh, this is the door. I thought the door was locked. Who the- Hello? Absolutely no walking on these steps until the wood glue has set, do you hear me? I've had enough of it, enough! I need to get up there in the morning, and to do that, I need the steps. Okay, 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 I wasn't even going that way, Jesus. Oh, cool, there's a fireplace. Hi, Tongue. Hey, guys, how you doing? I don't know why you let him talk to you like that. I can't explain. Try me. If I were him, I'd give you everything you wanted. Oh, oh no, there's like a, a romance going on here? Tongue, this isn't a movie. I don't want to be saved. I don't get it. Oh uh, no. It sounds like things aren't going good between them or for her. Oh hey, it's you. Well, that did it. She'll see my side of things tomorrow. I'm not so sure, Pally. She told you pretty straight. She just doesn't know what's out there. Oh, yeah, isn't he dating her? Come on, you gotta listen to her. The burbs ain't her place. She's got her bathhouse, too. She likes that work. She can work in the bathhouse in the city. Dude, you can't decide her life for her. She is a human person. Well, she's a mutant. And she can make her own choices. You don't get to decide what she wants to do. Wonderful new life. Full of adventure and grub. She's got to want more than this. All right now. Maybe you've had enough. Don't want any more anyway. Oh. Sure. Gonna go home. Home to my beautiful boat. My sweet old bark. Hmm. I don't like you now. If she loved me, she'd follow me. Whoa! 
Fuck you, dude. <laughs> that is so wrong. Love is not conditional. You work on that definition of love you got there, Pally. Thank you, Spike. Sh you j it Ooh. <laughs> I do not like him. I like you, Spike. Spike is my bro. You got any love and love woes you want to share with us, Jitterbug? Bet she's got a string of boys, broken hearts, and her bow wave. You don't talk to me. Enough, Grob. Even he's like, shut the fuck up. Uh, how about you, Spike? Yeah, I'm talking to Spike. I'm not talking to you. Oh, I gave up on love a long time ago. Though, maybe it gave up on me. Cheery. I'm done talking to you guys. <laughs> Calling mom. Mom, there's some assholes in this bar. <laughs> Only one, actually. Spike is cool. Hello? Is that you? Darling, it's so good to hear you. How is the trip over? The captain was a bit weird. No, the captain's an asshole. We're not talking about him. It was... okay. Are you getting to know people? People have been nice. This is a very... I don't know if it's just me, but this is a very stunted conversation. Are you sure? Talk about Mori, talk about Grandpa. Um... Mori. Mori took me to see him. She's very... kind. I hope you're not feeling too overwhelmed. Well, I wasn't, until the fucking bird man showed up. Are you managing okay? Oh, you know me, darling. I've lost my house keys five times already today. And burnt two of our three meals. I wish you could come here. I miss you too, but you're doing a lovely thing by helping your grandpa. Are you feeling okay otherwise, though? Mm. She's reaching out, let's be honest. What if he dies? Oh, honey. Grandpa Nono is very ill. And sometimes... Sometimes we can't help people get better. But whatever happens, we can be there. Be with them. Oh god, I'm actually crying. Just make sure you look after yourself as well, okay? Maybe even have a little fun? <laughs> I'll try. I wish you could have come with me. Oh, love. I know. I just... It's complicated. Nana was so angry at him. I'm not ready yet. But I know everyone there will take wonderful care of you. But, Toby, no! Ugh, crayons on the wall. Sorry, honey, I have to go. But call, like we said, okay? Thursday and Sunday evening. Love you. Love you. Speak soon. Oh. Hey, Spike. I'm sad now. Well, now that was a bit of an evening. <laughs> Best get home now, though, out of the rain. As soon as you're under Papu's canopy, you'll be okay. Alright, thank you. Sorry you had to deal with that, dude. Are they still here? No, they're gone. Oh, it's raining! It looks so pretty! Yeah, from what it sounds like, from what, um, what I've heard so far, it seems like Kai had to basically be a parent, and so seems like she does love her mom, but, you know, that's a very difficult thing to do for a parent to have to take care of their kid. Last time we only went up to afternoon, but it seems like it goes to... Oh! Are those lights flickering over by the harbor? Is someone still up? Wait a diddly darn second! Huh, who's in there? Who is that? Is that Birdman? Oh, it's Tongue! You doing okay? What is it? This is my favorite. I watch them on loop. There are so many episodes when you finish, you've forgotten the beginning and can start again. Well, I, what's the show? It's Italian. 
Trey Fontaine. Um, it's a soap opera, I guess. You speak Italian? What's happening? <laughs> you see her? The guy with the mustache is in love with her. But they can't speak about it because she's pregnant by his brother. Oh! I think. I guess they could be saying anything. But it's very romantic. They live in this big castle with three huge fountains in the driveway. And everyone is in love with someone. And when they're in love, it's like they're dying. So cool. <laughs> Alright, well... <laughs> I'll have to keep an eye out for late night TV sessions. Don't want to miss the next episode of Trey Fontan. Okay, I'm glad we saw that. I would have fallen asleep without knowing that. So I guess we can watch more of those episodes to get to know our buddy Tongue more. Maybe he can help us talk to the boat dude and make him realize he's being an asshole. <laughs> Alright, but now we can really end the episode. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time.